and there are uh, three different types of, of heat transfer, uh, convection, radiation, and evaporation. Three different types of heat transfers. We are going to analyze the first one. What is the meaning of uh, convection? It's the transfer of heat from one place to another one. Remember that uh, what happened with the air when the air is hot? Yes, the air is going up. And what about the cold air entered in the bottom? Yeah, only for convection, the cold air push the hot on top. Yes. And we are going to analyze that triangle and what happened. For example, when the gas, when the gas uh, pass uh, to liquid, when the gas pass to liquid is condensation. When the liquid pass to gas is evaporation. When the liquid, when the liquid uh, uh, pass to solid is uh, solidification. And uh, when the solid pass to liquid is melting. Yeah, we are going to use those concepts because uh, the refrigerant, the refrigerant you remember in the cycle pass from gas to liquid and after that, once again, from liquid to gas, evaporation, and we are going to analyze the different state of the matter. In some cases, in some cases, the vapor pass uh, uh, to solid because uh, you have problems on uh, the evaporator, and we are going to analyze what happened in each of those states of the matter. Okay, uh, in this side, in the, uh, in the evaporator, we have the evaporator. Uh, the evaporator have uh, the coil for the evaporator and the fan. Okay, and the coil of the evaporator. Remember that uh, as soon as the refrigerant pass through the through the dryer and the uh, and the capillary pipes, immediately the pressure and the temperature decrease dramatically. And those pipes internally in the coil of the evaporators are practically frozen. <clears throat> when the fan forces the flow of air from the inside of the room through the through the through the coil in the other side in the output you have cold air yeah this is the evaporator ah of course because those pipes internally in the coils are frozen pipes what happened when the warm air pass around those pipes there are condensation exactly like a, if you have a glass of water with ice what happened outside of the glass? You have condensation of water, exactly the same. And that water drops in the bottom, in the pan. This is condensated fresh water. The compressor is a vital component in the marine cycle refrigeration. The compressor is uh, the heart of the system. In the compressor, start the cycle. The output of the compressor is uh, the high pressure side. And in the high pressure side, you have uh, the high pressure switch. The compressor is hermetic. Uh, it's uh, not possible to uh, re uh, repair the compressor. If the compressor is damaged, usually you need to replace the condenser completely or use to replace the compressor. But uh, in the majority of the cases, it's more expensive to replace the compressor. This is uh, another type of compressor. This is uh, a scroll compressor. Uh, in this particular unit, this is a chiller unit, and uh, the compressor is uh, is a perfect compressor for uh, this type of, of system. In this compressor, we can see uh, the relay for the compressor. That's the start compressor relay. Uh, <coughs> this is uh, the discharge or high pressure side, and uh, this is uh, the return or low pressure side or suction side. Other type of compressor is the compressor used in automotive applications. First of all, we are going to check how is the automotive air condition system. Exactly. The output is high pressure, smaller high pressure. loads. In what other oh, way? It uh, comes the other way. Yeah, yeah. Right, In what other way can you <laughs> identify what is the input and what is the output? Follow the line, hand over hand, see color, if it goes to what next component. Touch. It's cold. So, uh, one is hot uh, and the other one is cold. So the, the input would be cold. Right. And the output? Uh, yeah. And normally, if uh, if the system is working properly, the return is 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 it's not frozen, but it's too cold. If the return is warm, it's because 
the level of the fluid is low. We are going to study that. Okay, we are going to connect uh, this and this. This this one is for high pressure or for low pressure? High pressure. Uh, yeah. And this one for low pressure. What, what is the high pressure feeding and the low pressure feeding? Well, uh, this, is the this is the high. Low this is low pressure. This is high, high pressure. pressure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. What is the input side? What is the output side? That's input. That's oh. output. Warm. Oh. Yeah, it's already getting warm. Now yeah, you see. So what is the expansion bar? Is it here? That's the expansion bar? Yeah, in this particular case it's manual in order to practice. What is it? Uh, what is the symptom when uh, the, the, the problem is on the compressor? The symptom is like this. Uh, you activate the thermostat, you select the temperature that you wanted, and uh, the evaporator, the blower, start, but uh, the compressor no start. If you hear the compressor, the compressor is humming. Mm -hmm. Try to start, but no start. Uh, this is an indication that uh, you have an electric problem on the compressor or probably a mechanical problem internally in the compressor. Remember, the compressor internally have a motor, electric motor, and the electric motor move the mechanisms with the pistons. There are different type of pistons. Okay. Uh, we are going to analyze uh, in this uh, micro video uh, the procedure to check the procedure to check this this relay the motor relay the relay have uh, three terminals one terminal on top is the common other terminal here is for run and other for start the common receive the power from the thermal relay from the thermal relay and this this power is uh, is uh, is the power coming from from uh, the run and relay and this one uh, is coming from that's the neutral okay we are going to verify in the next coming a uh, micro video how we check uh, if uh, the winding of uh, the compressor is in good condition remember that uh, in the heat exchanger you have a refrigerant in the middle pipe and salt water around in between both pipes. Ah, okay, what happened if this heat exchanger, this heat exchanger is cracked? If that heat exchanger is cracked, the salt water penetrate into the cooler, into the refrigerant, and affect the system. Uh, these pumps, this type of pumps, raw water pump for air conditioning equipments, work in both scenarios, in American power or European power. The, the, the winding is a special winding. Okay, the raw water pump, the output of the raw water pump enter in the coil, in the coil of the condenser and pass through the coil and in the other side goes out like uh, the video that we have on the screen. That the water that you see coming out constantly is raw water, is raw water that enter in the coil of the condenser. Okay.